Hey, welcome to another midweek devotion with Pastor Hoffman. I don't know about you, but lately I have not really been going outside too much because it has been too hot. Now, one of the things I like to do when it gets this hot is I like to watch movies. I like to eat my popcorn and enjoy what's on the television, or even better yet, I love to go to the movie theater. Now, this week I actually had the opportunity to go see a movie, and I saw the movie Sound of Freedom, which, if you haven't seen it, it's highly worth the watch, definitely opening my eyes to a lot of things about child trafficking that I didn't know. That's not what I wanted to talk about today. What I wanted to talk about is what showed up on the movie screen right before the movie started. What it was is based on a true story. Now, of course, if you don't know the story, this is a movie based on the true life story of an actual person. What I want to talk about is what happens when we see that on a screen. I don't know about you, but when I see based on a true story, I kind of lean in a little bit closer. I start chewing my popcorn a little bit more because I want to see what happens because what I'm about to see is something that actually did happen. Now, if you ever read the credits or you know anything a little bit about Hollywood is they definitely sensationalize true stories. They they fit things together. They take some uh, liberties to make things maybe make a little more sense, combine characters here, get rid of a character there. What this made me think of is something that we have as Christians that I think a lot of times we take for granted, and that's the Bible. See, when I read Bible stories, a lot of times I'm kind of blown away by the details, by the craziness, by the way the stories have twists and turns, and here's the thing. The Bible isn't just based on a true story. The Bible actually is a true story. And there's a big difference when it comes to that. When we read the Bible, we know it is God's true word. It is inerrant. It is without error. Uh, it, It is inspired by God. It is a big deal. So what should we do when we're reading God's word? Well, we should probably lean in. We should probably take careful notice of what we are seeing, what we are reading, what we are hearing, and know that this is something special. This is something that with a combination of human writers inspired by God, that this is telling us everything we know about God. And here's the other thing when we crack it open our Bibles. The Holy Spirit is there helping us. I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but there's been times I read a Bible story. It's maybe the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth time I've read a story. And I notice something different. I notice a word, I notice a phrase, I notice an emotion that I hadn't seen before. Now, I'm reading the same translation, I'm reading the same story, but I believe this is one of the coolest things about God's word, is it is alive and it is active. Not only is it true, but it's constantly being opened to us by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is helping us see these amazing things in Scripture that sometimes maybe our our life pulls out like uh, the story of the prodigal son or uh, stories about being a dad, I understand way better than 10 years ago before I was a dad. See, that's the great thing about God's word is that it is alive and it is a true story. Not even just based on a true story, it is a true story. So I hope this week that you have maybe a little more appreciation for God's scripture, God's truth that we have about him, and that we all can just lean in a little bit closer, enjoy it, maybe even pull out a bowl of popcorn as you're reading God's word, and enjoy what God has to say to us. God's blessings on your week.